Can the UK save Al Heyman, the PBC, and Mayweather promotions? So for months we have heard that both Al Heyman and possibly Floyd Mayweather were trying to move into the UK market. So regardless of what people say, the PBC is bleeding. And in my opinion, their brand has done almost irreversible damage to itself with the distribution of its very poor product. Most people associate the name PBC with the word mismatch or the words cherry pick. No one really expects a truly competitive 50-50 fight when you hear that the event is being organized by the PBC. Since the inception, the PBC has put on one, maybe two good quality fights. And generally when you hear the word free, as in free fights, people think of that as a good thing. However, in the case of the PBC, when you hear the word free, you automatically think that you're getting what you pay for. You paid nothing for the fight, so basically what you'll get is a garbage fight. Now, moving into the UK and asking for help from people like Matchrooms, Eddie Hearn, can only be beneficial to Al Heyman, in my opinion. First of all, Heyman obviously knows how to raise money. And to a point, he seems like a very good negotiator. However, he seems to be absolutely terrible at matchmaking fights. And the unsuccessful PBC is proof of that. So although Heyman and even Mayweather have reached out to promoters from the UK, they need to leave the strategies they're accustomed to using behind them or leave them in the past. Many fans have left boxing because of the gross mismatches. Now, with all that being said, we see that there is nothing but upside potential in the UK. We just saw how successful the Triple G vs. Brook fight was at the O2 Arena, which is why there is so much hatred right now towards Gennady. Everyone sees what's brewing, knows that he's about to blow up. You see all these middleweights starting to get confidence, get a little heart because they see the potential money that they can earn by getting beat up by Triple G. So now you see people like Floyd Mayweather crying about Triple G because he knows that he can't get any of the money that Triple G is generating. And further, he knows better than to step in the ring with him. We also see how Andre Ward consistently brings up Triple G's name. And of course we have Al Heyman's little bitch boy, Pauli Malinaji, always taking these little verbal jabs at Triple G. And we know that boxing is a star-driven sport. So once someone blows up, there's pretty much nothing anyone can do. It is painfully obvious that these other promoters do not want Triple G to blow up. So they're doing everything they can to prevent that before it actually happens. But it seems inevitable to me. So anyway, back to Al Heyman. We constantly hear about how one of the guys on Al's roster really wants a rematch with a certain Irishman. Now for me, I really do want to see the rematch between Leo Santa Cruz and Carl Frampton. I thought the first fight was very close and it seemed like Leo is a 100% focused on getting the fight. Plus from all the stuff I have been reading, it seems apparent that the PBC is just bleeding money. They are losing money and losing it quickly. Ireland is known to have a very loyal fan base and we just saw again what happened with Triple G and Kell Brook in England at the O2 Arena. So anyway, I believe this is definitely a fight that needs to take place and I think Al Heyman needs major help in pushing these fights. He has put on so many BS fights that he almost has completely destroyed his product. Al Heyman definitely needs these other promoters to help him sell tickets. And on a side note, I just read that Heyman Boxing reached out to Eddie Hearn a while ago trying to find a welterweight opponent for Danny Garcia. I guess Hearn offered up Gavin and Eggington, but apparently Heyman only wanted to pay peanuts, so the fight didn't materialize. I'm not sure if there's any truth behind that. It just seems like Heyman has contracts with the fighters on his stable in which he is contractually obligated to pay them big money 
And so now he's looking for these both less qualified and cheaper fighters to pair up with his guys in order to hopefully not lose too much money on the fight. But anyways, back to Leo versus Frampton. We have to believe that the fight will draw a lot of attention for several reasons. First off, the first fight was very competitive and exciting. And secondly, I just believe Heyman needs help selling tickets. And he needs all the help he can get from overseas. Now don't get me wrong, Leo used to piss me off. But I mean in retrospect, I'm not sure if he's actually the one that deserves the blame. I mean... Other than Leo and Danny, I can't think of anyone else who's been ridiculed more or been called a cherry picker more than either of those two guys. Now, I believe it's the case in Danny, but um, it seemed like Leo actually wanted the toughest fights, but his dad and possibly Al Heyman was holding him back. Uh, again, I can't say the same for Danny Garcia. It seems like he's content with taking the easiest fights possible. Anyways, I do hope the Leo-Carl Frampton fight get put, gets put together. Now, for all practical purposes, Mayweather Promotions is pretty much non-existent in my opinion. Floyd apparently wants to be a promoter, but it seems like the only thing he really wants to promote is himself. He obviously wants another huge nine-figure payday, and as a promoter, he'll probably never be able to generate that type of money. And obviously, the biggest fight possible for him right now is the UFC's... Conor McGregor. We recently heard F Floyd say that he's moving on from McGregor. I tried to make the fight happen between me and Conor McGregor. We wasn't able to make the fight happen, so we must move on. It's so crazy that when I talked about fighting Conor McGregor, now you got so many other fighters that's in boxing that wants to fight Conor McGregor. But I was the first, once again. I feel honored to be the biggest name yes. in MMA and in boxing, and I don't even compete no more. Now, to me, all the stuff that Floyd just said is disrespectful nonsense. Floyd claims to be a leader, but he is leading a circus. Floyd is actually proud that he has guys like Canelo and Khan calling out McGregor. If Floyd was a true leader in boxing, he would have shown in his career that he was willing to fight the best on an even playing field. And as a promoter, he would put on the most competitive fights. So anyway, even though Floyd says he's moving on from McGregor, we all heard Conor say yesterday. When I take that guy's belt, I don't, I'm looking around, I don't know what anyone else has for me around here. I might have to jump up and drag Floyd Mayweather out and see what the f*** he's at again. So I'm sure if Connor calls Floyd, Floyd will come running. Anyways, I think both Al and Floyd, I guess more specifically Al because of the size of his roster, needs to seek out a lot of help from the UK. The damage he has done to PBC and boxing as a whole may unfortunately be irreversible, but I guess receiving help from qualified promoters may be the only way to actually get, bo get boxing back on the right track. Anyways, these are just my thoughts. You guys take care. Have a great day.